Good day, number five. Just got back from Michigan, Wisconsin, road trip. Yeah. Been here for about 20 minutes. Got a crawler. My first walleye of the season. One out on there. for now so four o'clock yeah just caught that nice walleye first one walleye i've caught like two years my buddy my buddy would be proud <laughs> yeah, give it a thumbs up oh well, it's luna van we're here locking dam number five again so i just saw that film as i got back and that was my first first fish i've only been here for a half hour Fast action, it's not even 4.30 yet, so I'll probably hang around till dark. I'll try getting a flathead for uh, dinner. Check out my last Pike Bites video, Pro Series Blackstone. I threw that whole pike up on there. Oh, it was so delicious. The wind keeps up like this. This uh, side here is going to be pretty fishy today. Soon as that little perch. and fish. Slip out where it doesn't slip and this line this sinks. Okay. And I got something. I was just messing around a little bit. There I got one.
great. This is what I came in to catch. Alright. Lucas, help me land this guy. Ah. Literally, thanks Lucas. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Help me land my dinner. <laughs> yeah. At sunset. I'm just trying to get my light right. Ah, fatty. Channel cat. Little piece of cup bait. Ah. Gonna be dinner. Oh, nice dinner. Well, that's exactly what I came here for, so I'm not gonna stick around. We got dinner. Nice old fatty channel cat. Go home and, yeah, perfect eating size. So I'm gonna go home and cut them up and fry them up, make some catfish bites. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I don't have my stringer either, so. Yeah, I do. Staring off in the van. I like I should probably should probably turn around and look at my pole. Then I turn around and look and one of my bobbers is down. Uh, this fatty guy. And uh eating it. Yeah. I wanna take him home. And I was like I gotta turn around and look, I'll lose my pole. I almost did. Ah, let's get out of there, buddy. Sweet. Some action. Double now. A string or two, dude. One of each. That's money. Right there. Awesome. Uh, smiled that cut bait down. Yeah. Flathead. Oh, yeah, you're going on a stringer, dude. Come with me. That's two channel and flatty. Awesome. Sweet. I'm not eating the flathead yet. Looking good. So, boom. Come along. For dinner. Stringer. Awesome. Got my piece of cup bait. Trip my hook here again. That flat is just. Oh, that's sharp. Oh, that's sharp. Ah, just sucked that thing right in. Oop. Right out in front of me here. I got my light on. Hanging over the lip of the metal. Lighting up the water down there. It's been wind blowing all day.
can't even see it. But I'm gonna drop it down right out here in front of me again. Oh, got a fish pop it down. Like on the on the Pro Series, Brickstone. That's a beautiful pike going back in the water. I got some cats on the stringer, so oh, easy there, buddy. Oh, and the hook just popped right out. <laughs> Hugging pike. Hugging night pike. All right, back in the water. Oh, look. Time check. It's like. 10, 15. Sturgeon Mill. Oh. Just railed that cut bait. What was that on? Oh yeah. Gut piece. Same piece I caught the flathead on. How are you feeling? Awesome. I got one more piece left. I'm going to get that on and get it out. What a multi species day. Back in Minnesota. Love it. Alright. Looking over my shoulder, I'm rather neat. Alright, my headpiece disappeared. I thought I was getting messed with. I gotta do this. That's heavy. <laughs> There's a heavy one right there. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, is it, you want to help me with this guy? <laughs> that would be phenomenal. Sure. Help me land another one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, flathead, dude. That's a perfect beater right there. And this isn't my spider wire pole. What's your name again, bro? Lucas. Lucas Nicholas, man. Thanks. Lucas. Oh, dude, don't fall in the water, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I got that my life not so long in case I had to land with them. Yeah, sucker. Uh, um, drum. Shad. Uh, shads, yep. I netted some shads when I was here last time. 
I got my cast net. What was your name, Isaac or? Lucas. Lucas, I'm sorry, dude. Lucas just helped me net it. I got a time lapse of the moon going on on top of my man. Another flathead. That's a perfect eater right there. Lucas, you want this flathead? Um, For good. dinner, bro? No, I'm good. I'm just catching. Catching and letting catch them go. And release. I'm to... I got one of each on the stringer already. So it's like those are catfish bites for tomorrow. So this guy is luckily going back. Give me a lucky day, buddy. Sturgeon moon. Man, I, I thought it was a big sturgeon for a minute. <laughs> oh, hook just came right out. Ten knot. This was on the sucker headpiece. He ate the whole head. head? Yeah. Suckers? Yeah. It was like an eight inch sucker when I started. I got a little uh, tail piece left. And then I got like a dozen. Hey, night crawlers, man. I lost a dozen night crawlers this afternoon. My dad's buddy told me that they won't be eating night crawlers. Oh, yeah. I, was, I saw something online like That's three. chicken and stuff. So I was chicken. Oh, chicken works great. Oh, yeah. I caught them out here on chicken. Is that what you're using now? That's what I got on now. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I find cup bay works really well, man. Sweet. I said I'd help land in it. This one would have been a hard one to lift. Good night bite during the sturgeon moon. Just coming up over the clouds. All right, you're going back in, buddy. Biting me. Biting down on me. Yeah. Get a belly on that guy. Back in you go. That'd be a good eater, but. I got one more piece of cup bait left, and that's it. And then I got like a dozen crawlers. Let me get that on and just get another one. I think my little light hanging over the side here is just helping out a lot. Check it out. Another little USB light. Got a little hook on it. Ooh. <laughs> so I've had that hanging over the side for. A few hours now. Uh, camp involves. I got the other one up on Luna Van. My time lapse is getting a shot. Alright, back to dark. Moon's coming out. Time check up. Something's been messing with my cut big. Okay. 10.45. With the moon out. Sweet. 11.04, time to clean up. Put my lights on. Alright, 11.04. I'll leave my barrels open here and then go grab my fish and clean up. Fry these, fry these bites up later, for sure. That'll be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it was a sheriff that stopped by to say what's up. They want to know what they were biting on. Oh, catfish bites. That'll be good. We're in the sturgeon moon. Yeah. Catfish in a bucket. Let's get them out. They're fresh. Oh, it's next day. And I got some help. And we're gonna clean these up. All right, nice flathead. My first one cutting up. I'm not cutting up. My brother has got two slices along the spine. Run it down. Run it down. I'm just holding it and then we'll go side to side and we'll get the belly meat. Ah, oh, sweet. A couple of B rolls and we're gonna get to this guy. You can see and then we'll get the belly meat up under there. Not much on this guy here, but and then once you get to the tail, all the way back, you can pretty much just fillet this right off. Nice fillet knife. 
That one from the charter boat? This? Yeah. I'm not sure where this came from. I think it was Aaron. It's Aaron's. Oh, yeah. You can look at it way north. back when they were doing all the same fishing. Yeah, salmon fishing. I see it's from Japan. Oh, thing, this thing, I guess. These flatheads got thick meat. You can grill them up over the fire. And yeah, their meat holds together. Kind of yep. like chicken. There we go. Sweet. Here's some red meat. We might trim that off, but there's not much on there, so. But you can trim it off. It's just a little uh, tougher than the other stuff. There you go. Filleted out. That's a nice fillet knife. Like, that's one that I could hold and do these tough fish. Okay, getting the belly meat off. Looks like he's in surgery with the blue mask on. <laughs> Doing some surgical. We'll fix you, buddy. Don't you worry. Thanks for your delicious meat. All right, well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. chunky. No, the belly meat's always nice and chunky. Right, so we got the two fins. We'll have to get those off and then figure out. I guess you just pretty much do like we did on the other one. Yeah, so there's no bones in here, no pin bones on this flathead, which is nice. They're all in the ribs. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. The perfect eater. Yeah, that one was like three times the size. I'm glad I got to throw it back. Yeah, yeah. Just give them the little, How you tenderize little, your little massage to get your, the rigor out. You know? These catfish, yeah, they got all bent up. It's a channel cat. They get nice tender meat on them. They got those oh. Japanese farms where they get in the water with them and they just give them massages. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, well, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, nice. Okay, the anesthetic is set in. Time to go to work, surgery style. <laughs> okay, right down the spine, nut gourd, nice meat, good channel carrot. Wait on this table for you. They smell really good. That walleye, I was lucky I wasn't walleye fishing. I wasn't going for a walleye to keep. Oh, it's going to be so good. We have to compare them side by side. Be awesome. Nice. Yeah. This we might trim some of this dark meat off of there, um, but not really. I'm gonna soak them in Frank's Red Hot. It's pretty. The citrus will cook it like ceviche, so I'll probably tenderize it right out. Rescue by the movement on. Down here chilling at uh, Buck Snort Lock and Dam. Ha, huh, Lock and Dam. That's where I was fishing. This is just Buck Snort Dam. See right down there? I haven't seen any brownies jumping yet, but uh, sorry if there's some uh, damn noise. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got these. I've been watching the video. I appreciate it. It's the next, the next day. I got this catfish. I got my gear. Me and Luna Van are down here. Ah, uh, beautiful morning. So uh, you can check it out. I'm gonna get all set up for uh, cooking this catfish. I got that channel cat and that flathead. I'm gonna do a little comparison. Oh, little stairs that go down to the uh, Trout Run Creek. Yeah, so. I've seen some trout surfacing, but I have my heavy spider wire pole here. I might actually throw my GoPro on here and uh, drop it down by the dam there. The water's pretty clear and just let it drift around under my bobber. So, uh, see how that works out.
Otherwise, yeah, we got some catfish to fry up. I'm excited, this will be my first flathead catfish. So, I don't know how you can see it, but I got some flathead in this one and the channel cat. Little Italian herbs, garlic, and some avocado oil. Smells phenomenal. And then I do have the other one separated in the Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> I was gonna uh, fry these, but I don't wanna waste the oil. I didn't bring my oil, so I might just pan fry them and caramelize them. Or I'll stick them in my fridge and uh, fry them up later. But this is the channel cat. This is the flathead. So, I appreciate you watching the video. Let's get to cooking. Let's get set up. I might throw my apron on and uh, we're gonna chef it up. Chefing with Nicholas. <laughs> Check out some of my other videos. I, I cook, you know. I've done a little cooking in my time. So, <laughs> Woo. Well, back to it too, huh? You know my brothers, they were there for me And this is what they said We get down to move fast, get the moment last I'll just keep it humble, even when the feeling pass When you hit the thunder and rumble And you put this on the gas Take a second to be grateful, look up in the sky and ask For a lesson, yeah, this life is such a blessing If you guess and look around, I know you are blessed too We come together to see light in any weather But forever we have come to your rescue I was looking for Cool skylights. Oh, yeah. We used to walk right across the top of it. I made a bunch of tie dyes for the van and my solar panels for the dream. Right here, Luna van. Woo! Oh, she's getting warm. Whoa! Boom! I'm gonna pretty much do this big channel cat fillet first. I do have butter, so. Actually, here's the uh, flathead too. Oh, that smells good. I don't have enough room for the belly meat. So, we'll do the uh, fillets. Woo! With this cool towel. That thing. Crazy fox. So a little butter. So it doesn't stick to the pan. And for flavor. We'll flip her over. Cooking down at the park. My first pike bites video is at the park too. Not this one, Whitewater State Park. All right, I gotta get a handle on this. Come here, you. Woo! Spoon is not the best <laughs> for getting it off the pan, but 
and I'm just gonna try to steer it, and then... Come on, baby, there you go. Yeah, spatula would have been a little nicer. Would have been a little more brown on there. Oh man, it smells like just delicious sauteed garlic. Okay, so now that is, oh man, it smells, it smells like lobster, no joke. Like, now turn it down and uh, let it do its thing. Oh man, alive. Oh, I forgot my plates. Well, I'm gonna be eating out of the pan. No need to waste the plate. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's gonna be good. Like I said, I got the uh, savory butter rolls. I love the Hawaiian King's bread. It's good. I just eat it all the time anyway. Alright. Pan is browning the fish here. It's gonna start breaking apart on me. Flip it over one more time. And add a little bit more butter. tell the difference in the size of the catfish. <laughs> I mean, you saw the ones I caught. Right, I pretty much used half a stick of butter. Get this over here. Get that nice brown caramelization. No bones, oh yeah. I'm gonna give this piece a little bit longer, the thick end. Otherwise, this is all done. That is done. Ooh, yeah. I was gonna make fish tacos and all that, and I was like, you know what? I'm just having fish sandwiches today. I didn't really need this. <laughs> I worked in dress clothes managing restaurants for years. I barely get any oil on me. Oh yeah. That's good, let's enjoy this. <laughs> I'm filming for my YouTube stuff. Oh, cool. Just for fun, man life, like, adventure stuff. Good for you. Yeah, it's something, get my that, PT in. Too. That's awesome, okay. Yeah. Good for you, good for you. Yeah, there's actually the biggest brown I caught, I caught down here. Put out and film it and do it, but I hate it. Oh, that always blows me away, because I have no idea. It's cool that people put the time in. Right? Yeah. I gotta. I should yeah, try this. Sure. Um, yeah, that's. I edit right on my laptop right there. Actually. Want some catfish? No thanks. It's really good. It's like garlic butter and. Oh, thanks anyway. All right. I'm not too much into the fish, but he rarely keeps anything. Oh. oh. That's the first time I've had flathead. Catfish. I usually don't keep them. Okay. Really good. Is it okay? It's not, not fishy. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna check in and see what his plan is. It looks like he's re he's luring he's, up. He's not done. No, no. He had to change his mind up. You'll have to bring the luck down there and slay something. There you go. All right. Well, this is delicious. Wow. Not me. Get to recording here. Oh, I was recording. All right, well, do the sweetheart. Yeah, this is really good. A little mug rip here. Let's try this. 
That channel cap. Well, it tastes like brown trout. Smells like lobster. Mm. Not too fishy. Yeah, they're a nice couple from, uh, well, way over on the other side of Minnesota. Went to Wisconsin to get a nice canoe. Now you like. Now oh, they're out there fishing. Sweet canoe. Uh, North Star canoe is awesome. So I'm gonna enjoy this because that flathead is delicious. The chow cat. Let me try this flathead again. Mm. All right. The flathead is not as fishy as the channel cat, but it was a lot smaller. Delicious. Flathead. Garlic, avocado roasted. Channel cat, delicious. Hawaiian king's bread. I'm just gonna mow this down. I gotta go. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe. If you like it and wanna see other videos, I appreciate it. <laughs> Man, live that is good. I'm gonna mile this down. I wonder if I record you. Looks like it. Alright, this is Brianna. Hi not, everybody. Not Madison. Not Madison. They went to Madison and got that sweet canoe over there. <laughs> and what's your husband's name? Jordan. Jordan. Jordan was down there trying to get some trout, but. His last cast was about 20. Save so. them for you, Nicholas. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice right. to meet you. Take care. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, shake it up. Uh, man, maybe next time. I'll dig you the canoe, dude. Yeah, well, uh, brand new. Brand new. I know it. That's what she said. Yeah. Madison here said you were... No, Brittany. I'm just kidding, Brittany. <laughs> no, she said you guys went to Madison. You did it. Yeah. I, I saw you guys pull up, and I was like... I don't know where they're going to put that. No, <laughs> nowhere around here. I'm like, that'd be interesting. Well, I was telling you, there's a canoe launch right up the road. That one's staying out of the rocks for a while. No, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> is it Kevlar? It's like a yeah, Kevlar. Ah, yeah. Fiber you can lift it yourself then. Yeah, it's super light. Yeah, oh yeah, the Kevlar. I mean, you can lift it yourself. I you could. It's yeah. It weighs, it's probably like it weighs 40 pounds. Well, yeah, there you go. So it's, I have a heavy duty one with, like from Gander Mountain. Sure. Yeah. That's a lot of my videos are like canoe yeah. stuff and yeah. If you check it out, it's Luna Van Man. Yeah, I only have like 30 subscribers, but there's like almost 100 videos. Yeah, that's cool. That's, I actually put a lot of work into Similar it. Similar interests, sure. so yeah. really check it out. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. You'll be in the uh, fishing one. You'll be in, I'll put oh, you. the fish you ate the one. Yeah, the fish I just ate. Did I shut this? <laughs> I didn't shut this up. I'm going to. I'm going to right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brittany and Jordan. Good cats. Nice meeting you. Let me go down here and check out the water. Woo. I love these stairs. I used to just slide right down this pole. Break my neck again if I tried. This was used at the river the other day. Now, I'm gonna take this and this and go throw it down by the dam. Oh, I might bother. Ah. Gotta be able to keep my GoPro floating. So I need that. Hopefully I don't get snagged in the rocks. So, Check out this footage, hopefully we'll get some brown trout on. The sun's gonna be moving over the dam and yeah, I'm gonna go take some uh, GoPro casts. 